Oh my goodness, I had the same stool at the good stuff. Um, yep, there you go. It's all in Russian. Russian made in Thailand. O M G. This is interesting. I don't know that I have ever seen a Fisher Price movie viewer. Been doing a lot with little boxes lately. This one's really sweet. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. The rain is over for now, and I am shopping at Dog Junkies. I don't know how those two went together, but it's just what came to my brain because that's what happens sometimes. So we're going to go in. Now, Dog Junkies supports a nonprofit called A Home 4 Spot, the number four, and they do tremendous work. They take on a lot of the really, really hard cases, dogs with medical needs, elderly dogs, dogs with behavioral problems that nobody wants and um, they provide them a life and find them homes. In fact, I have an appointment with a meet and greet with the little puppers this afternoon that is through a home for spot. And I'm super excited. We're gonna see if she's a good fit for the family and we might be adding another little family member. Uh, anyway, we're gonna get in here. We're gonna see what treasures we can find. Let's get shop done. Right in the door here, they have this really pretty, now, was it yesterday's video I talked about a set of um, Royal Dalton that was just, it was meh, it was not an exciting pattern. And then you see something like this. So this to me is like an exciting pattern with the, the cobalt blue and the rich gold. And this is Pegasus. I've not heard of Pegasus, but it's a 12 four piece place settings. So, oh gosh, how do you do that, Matt? That's 48 pieces-ish <laughs> for $300. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it's Royal Vienna. Okay, it's Royal Vienna. There we go. Or wait, that's different. This matches, but it's different. Oh, there's two sets, but isn't that crazy? They're like so close you could use these together that's pretty cool actually all right a little depression glass pink depression glass a lot of people really are loving the depression glass again which is nice to see you know noah made a comment about it's got seams yes depression glass was not a high-end glass it was literally glass that was sold during the depression era and uh, it was not expensive glass these are cool these are off uh, post um, what do you call it at the bank the 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 box the safe deposit box goodness that's very art deco those are nice Those are cool. Pier one. Set of four for ten dollars. I said I'm not doing plates though. I'm really staying away from plates. Trying at least. What is this? It's a W glass. Oh, it's a stop. Oh, it's a stopper. Ooh. I'd like to see the whole jar that that goes to. That's pretty cool. Bake, serve, and store, stoneware. That's really cute. Hmm. I've got my selective mode on. Wow. I love these flowers. I think I looked at these the last time I was here. I've loved them twice. Turkey. 
candy dish. Ooh, I like this. The red sugar. Who makes you? It says Stoha on the bottom, made in Germany for $6. You know what? First purchase. Let's see what else we can find over here. Some more depression glass. This is in the, it's kind of an amber yellow. It's not like a true, true amber, but yet I think they call it amber. Got some peach lusterware. Lots of dishes in China. I think I looked at that piece last time I was here too. It's a nice little piece of pottery. Last time I was here, I did a live shopping and sometimes those live shopping events don't come up in your recommended so if that is something you'd be interested in going back and watching you just go to my main page on youtube and you click the live tab and it shows you all of the past live replays i've been doing lots of live shopping lately puts a little element of fun and excitement into it for sure. These are Pioneer Woman, are they? I think so. Shirley Temple, I think Federal Glass makes that. I could be mistaken, but that's what's coming to my memory banks right now. Oh, we've got the elephant shelf. Oh my goodness. Let's see, I have lots of elephant fans. Let's see. Let's see. He's $4. He's kind of spectacular. All right, we'll grab him. Let's see what else we've got. He's also $4. I don't know how I feel about him. I like this one. He's also $4. He's got a little, little chippy there. Are you wood? Oh, you're a little wood elephant for $6. Okay, I like him too. Oh my goodness, I had the same stool at the Good Stuff and it had a little bit different tapestry on it, but it was, it was the same elephant. Little ring, ring holders, also $4. I might come back to him, might come back to him trying to stay in my 12 to 15 item rule but I do like this one too with all the uh, the beads hmm okay I might come back to him too he's on a he's on a definite maybe let's see a little coffee grinder that says coffee k-o-f-f-i-e Okay, so what language is that? Is that German? You spell it that way? Look at these gold, 24 karat gold, hand-painted creamer and sugar for $18. Those are beautiful. I'm, it's not really weeping gold. It doesn't have the weeping effect of the gold, but it's got like a little texture. I do like those. I might look those up but you know what I love. Okay, and this is silly, because I shouldn't love this so much, but I really do. What is my thing with carrots lately? I'm just kind of really into carrots. <laughs> carrots and pumpkins. These are cute, they're not signed, they're $10 each. Mmm, okay, tempting, tempting. Let's look over here. I think these plates are Russian. There's like a whole series of them. Yep, there you go. It's all in Russian. Russian made in Thailand? No, maybe they're, maybe they're not Russian. Maybe they're from Thailand. Oh yeah, duh, look at it, Danny. So there are Russian ones that look really, really similar, but these are, these are Thailand. Okay, again, it's plates just gets an honorable mention. These are cute. Who makes you? 
Lancaster Sandland. Eight dollars. Is that for the set? That's for the set I'm in. I love those. I do love these lamps. I wonder what kind of shade would have gone on those. Little boudoir lamps. They are a milk glass and then they're painted. But they're that really, really old milk glass. Let's see if I can pick one up. The cords are kind of hanging up. Oh gosh, yeah, these are like 1920s. <sighs> Those are awesome. They don't have what they call like fire at the rim. Some of this really, really old milk glass will have like a little thin translucent edge and they call that fire. But look at that plug. Oh wow, those are really, really nice. It's 40 for the pair, which is a fantastic price. It's just not something that I'm gonna deal with right now. But what I love, I think the most about my videos is that there are local people who will watch this and then come down and come and get something that I didn't pick up. So uh, that makes me feel really good that I can support this little store and send people their way. Those are cute. They're Sango Green Acres. They're saucers. So they would have had a cup that sat in the middle. What is that? Drying rack accessory. Oh, so it's just a cute thing to put on your drying rack? Oh, it holds, okay, never mind. It holds like uh, if you're drying bottles, it'll hold like the nipples on there and the caps. That's really cute. If your name is Barbara, there is a really, really cute Barbara's Kitchen little paddly thing here with strawberries. I like it. We've got a globe. So we've got it has the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. So we know this is an older one. And then there's, if you look down, I should, really should look this up before I find the next globe, but there's something about Africa and the way the African countries are named that also helps you um, determine the age of a globe. And then South America as well. So I'm just not up on my geography lesson at this moment in time. But the, and I don't even know how you pronounce this, Replo, Replogle? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that is a really, really good brand of globes. So generally the ones that you find that are going to be worth some money are going to be this brand. This one's also got the, um, like the topographical three dimension. This is a really nice globe. It's a very nice globe. I never realized how far up Greenland was. They're like almost, like they're up higher than even like Alaska. It must get cold there. I just realized two things. This definitely is vintage. Look at that plug. Uh, it plugs in and it's only $12. Okay, I'm getting it. O-M-G. We have a little table of dachshunds <laughs> oh my let's let's pick out some of these okay he's four. Oh, he's a red mill he's six he looks like a stone critters he's four <gasps> he's pewter he's not priced but we're gonna find out oh he's porcelain why did i not feel like he was porcelain some of his little tassel -y is gone on him. Kaye? Cal Kale? I might come back to him. What does that one say? Oh my gosh, that's really, really tiny. Uh, uh I don't know, but he's only four dollars. We'll get him. Oh. All, the small four. All the small ones are four and the big ones are six, she says. So oh, these are we're getting a few dachshunds. We're getting a few. Dachshunds are one of the dog breeds that I sell out every time I get them. Okay, so get him. 
I know, I'm going to be breaking my rule here. He's Gorum, made in Japan. Oh my goodness. These might have to go in a whatnot sale. I kind of feel like the best place to sell all of these dachshunds will be in my whatnot. Uh, so they will not show up in the nicheladyshop.com. These will go on whatnot. And let's see, I'm trying to think when this video is coming out. They'll be in my went, they'll, Thursday. I changed to Thursdays. So they will be in my Thursday whatnot sale, which will be at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And whatnot is a site that you can do little live auctions. And so I will start all of these at $1, even though you see I'm paying more than that. I'm going to start them at a dollar and just see where they go. And if you've never tried whatnot before, use the link down in the very first comment of this video and you will get $15 to come and spend to try it out. Check. You don't even have to spend that with me. You can spend that with any seller on whatnot. And there are a lot of them. So lots of great stuff happening over on whatnot. And that is where these doggies are going to end up. So I'm, I'm making a big old pile of doggies. Andrea by Sedek. I don't know. Maybe it'll just be my doggy sale. I have quite a few, quite a few dogs. I don't know about him. He's kind of tiny. He's a Barkley Cross. Oh, these are just too cute to leave. Yeah, you know I'm going to rescue him too. You know I'm going to do it. Bronze Kennel Collection. Charles Earnhardt, 1979. Look at this. Like, why am I even, why am I even contemplating? He is a Nature's Heritage. Holland Studio Craft. Yes. <gasps> He's an Armani. He's Armani. Now this one, this one I'm going to get, but this one will go into the nicheladyshop.com. Uh, Armani, G. Armani, very, very nice sculptures, uh, Italian, and uh, he's quite beautiful. So that one, that one you can shop in the store. Well, we, uh, we kind of wiped out that little spot there, didn't we? And then the desk. See, I didn't even really see the desk because it has all the doggies, but... Uh, a writing desk from the 20s, 30s, $175. That seems like an incredible price. I love this old furniture. I want to say this is Jacobian. If I'm remembering some of my furniture learning, I'm trying to learn about furniture. Old furniture fascinates me, and I think that's the style of this. I think it is. These are sitting here right in front of me. These are really interesting placemats. See, are they all? The little jumping gazelles. Oh no, there's different animals. Look, there's giraffes and lions and elephants and zebras. The set for six dollars. Uh, yeah, we'll take those. This is interesting. I don't know that I have ever seen a Fisher Price movie viewer. Huh. You got Cinderella, Snow White, and whoop, that was balanced just so, and Lonesome Ghosts. Okay, stand by. I have a very small Disney collection of little obscure things. I have never seen this before, and uh, this is going to go in my collection. I love it. We've got some little rugs. I think. I think that's Peruvian. That's got llamas. I don't know too much. Ooh, that's kind of cool. These are all really, really cool, but uh, I'm not going to pick those up today. They get really nice purses here, too. If you are looking for some nice, nice purses, um, really good quality. They have some amazing donors that support this store and uh, it's just awesome the stuff that people are willing to to donate so that the store can raise the money for the doggies. Shoes too. Really nice shoes. Wow! Look at that couch! The crushed velvet and the what do they call that? The um, something in tuck. Um, there, there's a word for that. 
because they used to do it with car upholstery too. But that is, the condition of this is incredible for its age. I'm going to, I'm going to date this back, what, 30s, 40s, 30s, 40s. Look at, look how clean it is. Wow. That's really cool. This is Rachel's color too. Like if Rachel was decorating her own house right now, like she would love, she would love this couch. That's a really pretty set. Steeped tea. Very pretty. I like kind of, it's almost like an optical illusion. Woo, you are getting sleepy. Let's see what else we've got over here. Ooh, I like this. Take that out for a moment. McCoy. Looks like McCoy. It's 22. I may look that one up because that's a really nice older American pottery. It says USA on the bottom. I'm leaning towards McCoy on that one. So it's interesting. Some sellers are calling it McCoy. Some sellers are calling it Shawnee. I really am leaning towards McCoy. It's got a very McCoy look to it. And um, I might see if she'll wheel and deal a little bit on this one. Oh, look at the sandcastles. Oh my gosh, I had a whole collection of those just not too long ago. $8, really good price on that. What is, what is that? What am I looking at? Oh, it's a castle on a hill. I was, I was trying to get some animal out of that. I feel like, is that a lizard? Is it a snake? No, no, it's a castle. Because that's how my brain works. These are, let's see, when something's worth remembering. These are pewter. They're like large, heavy pewter angels. Fine pewter, heaven's voice. 1995. Those are really nice. They're $24 each on those. Beautiful though. See, we always talk about mixing and matching the candlesticks. And here's like an example of how that would look sitting on a shelf. It's really nice. We don't do candles at all. So it's kind of a, a moot point for for me I have a lot of people ask why don't you do candles it's because we have birds and birds put off toxins into the air now there are some safe candles out there we just don't take any chances we are we we would rather err on the side of caution than lose one of our birds so we don't we don't have any candles any fragrances in the home uh, he's he's simply adorable okay so he's going to be in the whatnot sale also on Thursday and he is a castagna he is going to be in the whatnot sale on Thursday oh my gosh come here come here little mousy mousy goodness all right and let's see oh yeah you too all right so now we have dachshunds and mice all right, I saw a duck. Yes, the duck. Oh, the duck is a, a trinket duck. And I thought it was wood. It's not. It's ceramic. It's a $4 duck. It does have a little chip on him. So we'll leave him. The thing about dog junkies is this stuff's not going to end up at the bins. It's not going to end up in the in the trash. You know, so I don't I don't have to rescue quite as many things. They will find them good homes. Look at him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're not that far from Christmas where I feel like I feel like maybe he'll be a giveaway. Maybe maybe I'll give him away on Thursday. I see Betty Boop in a bathtub back here. I do. She is plastic. But what is she? Is she a 1996 TM Hearst Corporation, Fleischer Studios. I think she's a soap dish. I think, I think that's her purpose in life. Uh, I love her. I'm going to grab her too. And then we've got Elvis spin out. 
It's a newer, it's a repro sign. 1994. I mean, it's not like new, new. So it's vintage repro, which is kind of cool. Elvis. I'll set you over there for a moment because I see another Betty Boop I wanted to peek at over here. Actually, there's a couple of Betty Boops. There's a little Betty Boop bag. She's got her original tag. There's something about Betty Boop. Everybody loves a good Betty Boop. Boop, boop, be doop. Looks like, oh, this is plastic. It's a plastic cup. Yeah, I think the I think the bathtub. The bathtub is the the item du jour. I was looking through the Christmas ornaments and look at all these little wood angels. They are vintage. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like seven of them. I don't know what the price is, but I'm sure it will be good and I am gonna pick those up as well. Okay, what's over on this shelf? Ooh, look at that clock. It's got all of this mother of pearl inlay. It's just ten dollars. I don't really do clocks, but if I did, that would be a no-brainer. Got a little DeGrazia bell. DeGrazia is very, very popular. Southwest artist. When I was down in Tucson, you know, he had a home there, and so there was a lot of DeGrazia items and kind of took it for granted because we could get them fairly inexpensively, uh, not realizing the value that they had for people who didn't live where they were easily accessible. Little home co. Home co bears. If you watch Fat Bird Finds, you'll know the song. Home co, put it in your home. <laughs> it's a little inside joke. Little inside joke. I like these coasters. Little Southwest. Are they Southwest? No. Maybe not Southwest Native American. Maybe they are Northwest. But they are Native American artwork on these kind of clay coasters. It's $10 for that set. You know what? I'm going to pick those up too. Portugal. Little tile with a shepherd and his sheep and his goats. It's kind of nice. Got some little outdoor dwarf action going on here. I love this birdcage. I don't have room for another birdcage though. Someday though, I want to make a light. I want to make a light, a hanging light fixture, like a chandelier type thing using little cages like this. And then you open up the bottom so that the lights come out, but it would be all cages of different sizes and shapes. I've seen it done at a restaurant once. That's on my bucket list of things I want to do one day. Still have the little Tanala nativity set. It's $40 which is great price. It's just a lot of pieces for me to deal with right now. So I will not be getting that, but I love it. Oh, make sure you look up too. Sometimes I forget to look up. Let's see what we have over on this little shelf. Ooh, that looks like Majolica. Get this pretty little shell out of here. Oh, it's a Santa. Well, that's odd. He's like a he's like a Majolica Christmas Santa. He has got a signature on there. Looks like M M I. I don't know about that. I don't know. Little crabbies. Blue crabby. Bluecrabbay.com. Bluecrabbay.com. Not crabbay. Crabbay. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'm really digging the merchandising here. You got the uh, the horse head. 
<laughs> next to the uh, the doggy doorstop here. He's pretty fantastic. Oh yeah, sitting on the saddle. <laughs> oh, this looks like a little end of day piece for fourteen dollars. I like that one. I think we'll pick that up too. Be sure you stay all the way to the end because at the end I do what I call a deep dive and I will have everything laid out and I'll be talking about it a little bit more like what is end of day? I will explain that at the end after I have finished shopping. Been doing a lot with little boxes lately. This one's really sweet with this little little lady put on there. It's eight dollars. You know what? Because I've been kind of on a roll with these little antique boxes. I am going to go ahead and pick that one up too. Got some nice little collector dolls, the Inuit people. Oh, that is a cute hat. That is a very cute hat. I don't wear hats. Oh, wow. Look at that coach purse with the snake. I think that's snake. Yes, that is a beautiful coach purse. Now, won't Coach replace these handles or do something with them? I feel like Coach does that. Another cool clock. Look at that. If I was a clock seller, Telecron. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at the clock house from Spokane. $17 on that. Oh, and that chest. Look at that chest. Wowza. I feel like Dawn of Hudson Vintage would have an absolute field day with the jewelry in this store. I'm going to have to get her out here to Vegas sometime and bring her here because she would have a whole lot of fun. This is my love language right here. 50% off. Let's see if there's anything irresistible. Hmm. See, I'm drawn to that with the little coral branch and stuff on it. Well, that's a Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee was one of those distributor, or, and they might still be around. Uh, I remember going to some trade shows and buying a bunch of Cookie Lee because they'd set up a little table and then you impulse buy because you love it. It was not cheap either. Cookie Lee stuff is not cheap jewelry. Look at that Seiko Mickey Mouse watch. $125. Again, they really get some incredible donations into this store. If you are in Las Vegas, put dog junkies on your shopping list. They are small, but they pack it with incredible things. As you can see from the video, shelves and shelves of really awesome stuff. Oh, more little elephants. It would be $12 for the little set of three. Oh, wait. Oh, he's. Oh, one trunk down, two trunks up. We're representing all of the goodness of elephants. Yes, we're getting those. Okay, I didn't forget about him. So I'm going to get him. And I'm going to get him because they match. And these also are going to be in Thursday's Whatnot sale. Look at this little porcelain purse bank. How sweet is that? Look at the little flower bonnet girls on there. That is really sweet for $14. I love it. My other little goodies. We have some egg coddlers. Royal Wooster. Yep. It is made in England. $14. These are um, like oil. What do they, does it say on here? It's like an oil, not really a candle, 
it's like a like a diffuser kind of a thing I think maybe it is a candle it says candle oh maybe it is a candle Let's see what we've got over here those are fun fun little bracelets they're glass That's a pretty set for ten dollars. Little clip-on earrings. I like that. Do you see the little? It's almost like a blue tiger's eye. The way that's uh, kind of shining. I like that set. Okay, I'm gonna grab that too. Look at all the beautiful sterling silver. Ooh, he looks like a little Swarovski. I think he's missing a little hat. Little Scotty dog bracelet. Oh, that's pretty. These are Brighton beads. $40. Very fancy. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, look at the little bug. So I got invited into the back room where they're processing in this amazing estate. Oh my gosh. Oh. There is milk glass, depression glass. This is goofus glass, but it's a very, um, like a minimalist goofus glass because it's only got the gold filling in some places. Fenton, Fenton, look at these strawberries on these Fenton pieces 24 and then there's a duck look at that look at the stickers Fenton opalescent these are beautiful these shades oh wow wish I had a lamp that I needed those for those are incredible and then these these remind me of the the French opaline glass. And I'm kind of leaning toward them being that. They don't have any kind of a pattern. They're just kind of a, you know, a clear, but a blue, really, really incredible plates. I have to research those a little bit. Pyrex, a whole set of this kind of a celery green Pyrex carnival glass. That looks like Fenton. It feels like Fenton. Yep, it is Fenton. So cut to clear. Wowza. Rio Hondo. Little Rio Hondo cow. Oh, look at the chickens. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I might have to come back in a few days. Look at this bear. Look at him. Carved from onyx. He's pretty fabulous. Look at that clock with the ballerina. Oh, wow. Look over here. Look at the porcelain rolling pin. Oh. Now it's really interesting, on these older pieces of glass, they call this a dolphin. That is, that is the terminology they use, dolphin. It's clearly a fish, but they call it a dolphin. I don't know why. Another elephant, oh, he's got a little broken nose. What are you? Oh, that's like a whole, that's like a whole piece. What is that? It is heavy. And it looks like bronze, feels like bronze. Don't quite know what that scene is, but that, that's again, dolphins. Very interesting piece. Oh, look at this little brass mouse. Isn't he cute? Solid brass made in India. Oh, there's a pair. There's a pair of mice. Oh. Look at this. 
with the mice in the mushroom house. Okay, I might might have to ask a couple prices on a couple of these that aren't priced yet. I'm kind of smitten with him. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look. But wait, there's more. Look at these. Noritake, I'm assuming. Definitely Japanese lusterware. Looks like Noritake. Little vintage, little bobbleheads. Those are really old ones. Oh, my favorite, favorite pattern. This is Taylor Smith Taylor Boutonniere. Love it. It's usually not even marked. You just have to know. You just have to know what it is. Look, they didn't, they didn't mark their pieces but it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pattern. Goodness, so much fun stuff. I imagine this will all get out onto the main floor this week. So again, if you're local, you see something, come on by, because I have a feeling this stuff is not going to last long. So I just found an example of that, what we call fire in the older milk glass. See, it, it's kind of an orange. It looks like fire. And that is how it got its name. So hold up old uh, milk glass to a light and look, cause, because when you hold it down here, look at that. You wouldn't think that that would do anything. Put it up to a light, you got fire. Just trying on the hat. What do you think? I don't think it's me. No, I, I'm just I'm not a hat girl. Mm -mm. All right, I'm just looking real quick while she's wrapping up my stuff. We settled on $4 a piece for a bunch of little critters that are also going to be in my Thursday whatnot sale. So uh, it looks like a Thursday is a critter day. Wowza, there was some really good things in that store. And uh, I'm really excited about all of the things that I purchased and anxious to see how things do on Thursday in my WhatNot sale. So I hope, again, you will come over to WhatNot if you haven't already and uh, join in the fun. Everything starts at $1. And the cool thing that they do now is uh, once you, I mean, it's like first class shipping up to one pound. Once you get to one pound, it's $8.35 will be the the poundage until you get to five pounds. I don't know how they work that out with the post office, but you can you can get five pounds of stuff and only spend $8.35 on shipping. Something that WhatNot has put into place. So come on over and check out what's gonna be there. There's gonna be more, you know, than just what I bought here. I'll be adding some other critters to it. I gotta like look around and see what else I can add, but definitely gonna be a critter sale. Dachshunds, bunnies, mice, and all things cuteness. All right, now let's head into the deep dive and talk a little bit more about the items that I found. Hey, Boosh, do you know what time it is? What do you think? There's a whole bunch of little critters over here on the table. Do you like them? Yes, going, going, going somewhere. Hello, where'd my bird go? Oh wait, he's over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's dig into the haul. Now, quite obviously, I did not stick to my 12 to 15 item rule on this purchase. But here is the way I am dealing with that. So I have that rule in place because of the time to process, the time to get the items available for sale and deal with them all. Uh, so what I've decided to do with all of these little mousy critters the elephants, and all of the dachshunds, except for the big Armani, is put them in a whatnot sale. Uh, because then there's not a lot to do to process them through. And I got them, got them at good enough of a price that I will do just fine on the quick flip on these items. I will go over a few of these, though. Many of them are charming tales. Um, some of them are things like, this is Schmidt from 1984. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him looking in the mirror, a little broken mirror, like in the junkyard. That's great. After the party, 
1993. This all came from one woman's collection. This is a Sylvestri. I know there's some charming tales in here. That's a Sylvestri. You are a, a nature's heritage. Something Ballard Studio Craft. Sorry about that light on there. Uh, look at these little fall mice. Handcrafted and made in England. Little guys like this. Are you signed? Almost looks like a stone critter. Yeah, there's a signature there. 1993. I think this one. Nope, that's more of nature's heritage. So these will all be listed in... Ooh, from Scotland. Um, these will all be listed in my Whatnot catalog, hopefully. That's a Castagna. Ooh, Castagna is good. That's 1988. Um, I'm hoping to do it by tomorrow. The, the sale is going to be Thursday. I'm hoping to get these all into the catalog tomorrow so everybody can kind of take a look and pick their favorites. Robart's Design. I, maybe there aren't any Charming Tales. Maybe there's not. Ooh, this one's made in Ireland. Focus. There we go. Animal Craft. Wow. Okay. Huh. Are there any Charming? Maybe there's not even any Charming Tales. I just assumed because this is how Charming Tales look, but... I am, uh, I am being corrected. Classique made in Wales. So there's actually some really, really nice, nice collectibles here. So all of those. And then the dogs the same thing. There's everything from pewter to just little figurines. This one's the bronze kennel collection. Uh, we've got porcelain, just vintage porcelain. We've got Gorham. We've got, who are you, Andrea by Sedeck. I know there was a Red Mill one here. Just a really, really beautiful collection. And those, again, are all going to be sold in Thursday sale. Oh, oh, and the elephants. I decided to put the elephants in there, too, just, again, to keep my workload down and uh, stay on track with what I'm trying to do with my nicheladyshop.com. Now, the things that will be in the nicheladyshop.com are gonna be this Stoha glass uh, sugar shaker. It's made in Germany. You can see, I could find lots of clear ones. I couldn't find any red ones. So super excited. I had to go into Worth Point to go look back and, and find even any that had sold uh, because there's no red ones even listed. So I do have a value of like 15 to 20 on that. It could be worth a little bit more, but I like to err on the side of of being more conservative with the price thinking what most resellers could get for it uh the globe so i did some research i i googled how to date a ripogli ripogli however you say it globe i found some things about certain countries and the way they're listed and africa is one of the main um, places to look how they have listed some of these countries like Central African Republic, Sudan. A lot of these countries have had name changes on the globes over the years. Um, South America, same thing. And so uh, I believe this is a 1960s. Now I tried to plug it in and I think it needs a new bulb. So I will be working on, on that. I don't have one currently to put in it and get it lit up. But it did not light up and it's probably just needs a bulb, I would imagine, because it's a simple little, you know, lamp uh, plug to, to light fixture kind of a thing. Uh, pretty easy to fix nonetheless. So uh, this spectacular globe I paid $12 for, it's worth at least 50 bucks. Again, I'm being on the conservative side with that pricing. It could be a lot more, uh, but we'll go. We'll go at least fifty dollars on that. What's on your beak? What have you been getting into? You have a very messy face. <laughs> yes, you do. All right, this little set. I don't know if you really could see. It's got a little pale pink interior here. It's got the gold tones. It's got the pink flowers. It's Lancaster Sandland. Made in England, just a nice, nice little creamer and sugar. I love this one so much. It's not a huge money maker, but 
it's definitely worth getting into a home where it will be loved and appreciated, which is half of my journey as a reseller. 15 to 20 would be the value on that little set, and I paid eight. And I will do my regular recap when we get done here. So if you forget these numbers I'm saying and you and you want to look harder at the at how much things are worth, that's still there. I just switched around the order so we could talk about the stuff first and then do that. Here's the laid out recap kind of a thing. Coasters. I just really love these coasters. I can't find any others like them out there. Uh, hand painted art tile sun tile. Uh, they are nice and they are a set of four in their little holder and I do think I should be able to get 25 to 30 on these. Paid 10. So that's, see, it's not quite my three times. But here's the thing about dog junkies. I know where that money's going. I don't mind paying up a little bit, taking a little slimmer margin, uh, because it is a small independent thrift store that is raising funds to take care of doggies. Where are you? Why are you down on the floor of your cage? I'm up here. You should be right here. Right, right, right here. I don't know what you're... I don't know what you're doing, Boosh. Everybody wants you to come out of there. I think we're almost ready for that. We're almost ready. Yes. We just got to get one more curtain up to keep you from going into the bathroom and running into mirrors. That's it. That's all we got to do. You're going to be free bird. Free bird. As I was saying, um, I love supporting dog junkies and our two thrift stores work together very closely. We're very close to each other and uh, it's just a really, really good relationship to uh, help one another out. And it's really good stuff. It's really good stuff too. Um, the box, the box. I have been picking up a lot of these boxes lately and this one, I don't think originally it had this on it. I think somebody has added that little touch to it. Uh, it's got the little straps on it. It's just a nice little old box. I paid $8 for that, 25 to 30. And I've got a record of selling these boxes in that price range. So pretty confident with that pricing. End of day. Let's talk about end of day. Now, end of day glass comes in every color you can imagine and almost every style of item that you can imagine because it literally is what it sounds like. The manufacturers use colored canes of glass and at the end of the day they are left with the portions of the glass rods or canes that didn't need to be used in whatever they were creating. So what they would do is take those remnants if you will and make something at the end of the day. And so those pieces that are made are called end of day glass. And that's why there's, there's no telling what you're gonna find made. And so this one is some brown and white swirls. And that's what they ended up making out of the end of the day pieces. So there are people who collect, literally just collect end of day glass pieces. This is a super nice piece of American art pottery. You can see the USA is on the bottom ever so faintly. Now, McCoy was very well known for just putting USA. My first instinct was that this was McCoy, but as I researched, I found it called Shawnee. I found it called a couple other things. So we're just gonna go with USA pottery. I do believe it to be McCoy. A very, very nice piece with a very, very nice color. She did bring it down to $18 for me so I could have a little bit of margin on it. It will sell around 40 bucks. And what is there to say about Betty Boop? She needs, she actually needs a bath. I need to give Betty, ba Boot, Betty Boop in the bath a bath. Wow, that was not easy to say. Uh, Betty Boop is classic. People love her. This is 1996. I do believe she is a soap dish and she's going to bring about 10 to $12 for my $4 investment. The jewelry, I don't know much. <laughs> Look at this, we got dog hair already on the uh, table here. Uh, I don't know much about this set. It is clip-on earrings. 
Let's see. I didn't look on the earrings yet to see if there was a name. I probably should do that, huh? Let me open one up and take a peek. No, and it almost looks like pewter backing. So these are some that I'm going to reach out to my friend Dawn of Hudson Vintage and see what she thinks about this set that I got for $10. I don't think I can go wrong at that price because it is a beautiful little set with blue rhinestones and almost looks like a blue tiger eye. There must be a name for that, right? It's not blue tiger eye. It's called something else. Maybe one of you knows and can tell me. Anyway, a uh, really nice little set for $10. I suspect it's worth at least $25 and maybe even a little bit more. Oh yeah, and then the angels. The little wood angels. They're very vintage. They're very cute. Some of these old wooden ornaments, you would be amazed how much they go for. This little grouping will sell for about $15. And then this guy, I don't know, he's just cute. I just needed to pick him up because he was cute because that's what I do sometimes. But he is a Sylvestri, so there is that. He will probably be in Thursday's sale as well. Did I miss anything? Oh, the Fisher Price. All right. I was thinking about keeping this for myself. I really was putting it in my Disney collection. But as I've said on many videos, I have downsized. I have less space. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And I can sell this for some pretty good money. Uh, the more the, cass the cassette you have, obviously, the better. I can get 30 to 40 for this little grouping here. I have watched the movies. It does play. It's super cool. I wish somehow I could look through the camera and do this and show you. You know what? I could if I had somebody else to turn the thing. Stand by. Okay, I found a helper. She's gonna she's gonna turn. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, go fast. Ooh, there it is. Look at it. It works. Oh, we were at the end. Does it just start over? Oh, it just starts over. Look at that. So that is how that works. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, yes, the placemats with the African animals on them. I think that's a spring box. And, uh, oh, is that, uh, oh, it, oh, what's the name of that? I know what it is. I know what it is. Um, um, oh gosh, they're big. I know that. I've seen them. <laughs> Giraffes. Lions and elephants. Oh, yes. And of course, zebras. So this set should bring 15 to 20 pretty easily. Um, pretty fantastic animals. That's going to bug me. I'm going to have to go look up the name of that creature right there because I've seen them in person. They're magnificent. And that is our little haul. I think Bougie is uh, unimpressed. Uh, he, he, it's like he knows I'm done and there's something he wants. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> well, he did have somebody sitting there with a pistachio in their hand. <laughs> in all fairness. All right. With that, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, he's so excited. <laughs>